Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia if you're new here. We just got back from Costco and Aldi and I just want to show you what we got. Um, most of it is healthy, some of it's not. So uh, if you're going to be judgy, click off <laughs> or don't and stay and, you know, subscribe while you're at it. Um, I definitely got a couple things that weren't unnecessary, but it's okay because, you know, you can live a little. It's no big deal. Let's jump into it. So this is a teeny haul from Costco. Um, main thing I wanted to get were these um, glass glass containers because we had a whole bunch and somehow they just keep going missing. Really need to stock back up on that. Um, we got these wine rolls. Not only just because we miss Hawaii, but um, we're going to do like sandwich sliders. Two different kinds coming up in meal prep soon. Stay tuned for that. We got spam. My oldest son wanted to make musubis again, so I have to go and find some nori somewhere. I can't find it. I didn't check Walmart though. We got some broccoli. Um, a thing of cheese, cheddar cheese for the sandwiches, for the sliders. We got some mushrooms, two things of strawberries because they're only $3.99 right now. And look how beautiful and gorgeous these look. Can you see that? They're beautiful. $3.99 for each. And uh, my son has been raving about those, so we got some. And then grape tomatoes. I want to do like a caprice um, salad on the side with steak. We don't have any uh, mozzarella balls, so I'm just going to do string cheese instead and just improvise. <laughs> we also got some sweet potato. Got to have these. And some onions. And that's all from Costco. It's really tiny, let me know. The rest is from Aldi. We got a lot, even back there too. And don't mind the pizza over there. I was I was craving it. <laughs> so over here we have two things of provolone cheese for the sandwiches. Um, I wanted to make a Portuguese bean soup, Portuguese bean soup. Um, but they don't have like any Portuguese sausage here, so I was like, eh, I'll just put this sausage in there. And I'm gonna use this honey ham. I'm just gonna cut that up and use that. And then we're also gonna use this for sandwiches. Over here we got Parmesan cheese. Um, some cilantro, you know, can't live without cilantro. Um, this little coleslaw mix. Yes, I could have bought a cabbage and cut it up myself, but this was like a dollar. So I was like, oh, score. I'm gonna have this with ribs or maybe sandwiches. I'm not sure yet. Something uh, meaty with that. One thing of mozzarella, one thing of mild cheddar. Gotta have a thing of creamer. Oh, and there's my phone. Okay, so this is kind of something that I definitely never buy is potato puffs. It was not necessary, but I bought it. Same with the steak fries. <laughs> My husband didn't see this yet, so he's gonna laugh at me. Um, got some spinach, jalapenos, of course. Um, this, my hubby asked for some salami, so I saw this and I was like, oh my God, he's gonna love that. To put on sandwiches. Um, we got some beef back there. I usually get the big one, the 75-25, but they're out, so I got that one instead and it was um, three seventy nine a pound. I wanted a uh, two sixty nine a pound instead, of course. And then two of these, which were unnecessary. <laughs> one mint chip and one cookie dough. But I mean, they're keto, so it's good, right? The honey ham, of course. Um, this was twenty five dollars for two thirty nine a pound. On this, on the sign, it said one thirty one forty five a pound. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if that wasn't the one that I grabbed. I thought it was cheaper than that. Here is, it's still cheaper than Costco though. Here's a pork butt for $2.29 a pound, $16 for this little thing. And then we got two things of boneless, sk boneless skinless chicken thighs. I want to do, um, that looks like a bone. What the hell? There's a bone in there. Look. On the skinless, it says. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, what's I gonna make with that? I wanna do like a chicken piccata with this or something where you don't have the bone in. You know what I mean? I have to go back over my uh, my booklet, but that's everything on this side from Aldi. And then we have more in the back here. We have our gorgeous pizza for $7. My dad just come out from a nap. <laughs> Putting sagey down. Pizza's then. Um, yeah, that pizza was $7. And then over here we have some 
potatoes. That was five bucks for the five pounds, I think. Is that five pounds or ten pounds? Yeah. This bread is one fifteen each. Or one forty five. Here's some apples that Dad loves. I got a few unnecessary things over here, like these cauliflower crackers that suck. Saltine crackers, because I'll let y'all know later. <laughs> and there's uh, elbow macaroni that goes in the, um... oh, I did forget a cabbage to put into the soup. Damn. Oh, oh. Um, this was going with the Portuguese bean soup. We got some pita crackers, got a contrived, yum. Light brown sugar. Got some walnuts, this is for my baking. And the chocolate chips, of course. Got a couple of crown mixes because they looked yummy at the time for the car. Some oranges, avocados, one thing of Dijon, artichoke hearts, because I want to make a dip with that, depending, debating on it. Four things of corn. And I found this, um, Sauce that my hubby might like. It's a curry sauce, so I got two of them. Yes. <laughs> and two things of beef broth. Yeah, these were um, like two bucks one, and I was like, oh, they're never usually that cheap. Okay. Two pinto beans. Four things of kidney beans, which goes in the soup tonight. This is actually from Cub. I got uh, some oyster sauce and a thing of Jello because Fallon wanted some Jello. My daughter wanted for some other Jello. Got a couple of these. These things are so tiny, I'll never buy them again. <laughs> yeah, they were just hungry. And the last thing we got was a spinach ricotta ravioli. I don't know, it looked interesting, so that's why I bought it. And these were a dollar for one. Is that everything? And that's it for our little tiny haul. That was a tiny highlight. And that's it. That's all we bought. Um, oh, I did get a couple bananas. That's what we forgot. Bananas, and I forgot to get ketchup and mayo, and what else did I forget? I forgot a few things. Thanks for tuning in to my kind of big grocery haul. <laughs> um, today is March 3rd. Uh, this is actually the first thing, batch of grocery... Gro 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 March. What'd I say? Oh, shit. It's April 3rd, not March. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the first batch of groceries we bought for the month. And it all came out to... What'd it come out to, lover? Where's the receipt? BRB. Let me just calculate. What is that? That was both. <laughs> he bought me something. <laughs> Holy shit, that was super... So I've spent one ninety seven twenty at Aldi today. <laughs> I've got a couple other things unnecessary. Um, well, all of that cost three hundred and seventeen dollars, according to my handy dandy calculator. So we have uh, two hundred and two hundred and eighty three dollars left for the month. <laughs> We're gonna keep it to six hundred because being re realistic with the inflation and all that. We spend $600 on groceries every month. I tried for $500, but it ain't cutting it. Just because unnecessary things. Those are so necessary! Shut up! You're eating, you're eating food. You be quiet. I fed you. <laughs> okay, anywho, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Is that we had a covered? Gonna patch up all the scars, but we smashed up all the parts.